Hello, everyone. I wanted to give you an update on our uh, exam schedule uh, for our midterm one that is coming up. Uh, so let me go ahead and first put up the syllabus because uh, I want to talk to you about some changes that we're making here. And um, as you can see, uh, the exam was scheduled for week five, which week five begins on February 6th, the Monday. Um, and I've made a decision that it makes sense to have the exam open for two weeks. So what'll happen is for midterm one, okay, midterm one will open, it'll be available, I'm gonna show you where in Canvas, it'll open in Canvas, at okay um essentially 12 a.m that's 12 midnight on february 6 2023 okay that's this coming monday february 6 2023 that's when it'll open it'll open at 12 midnight i doubt that any of you will take the exam at 12 midnight but it'll open at that time, it will remain open, okay? And so it will close. And I've decided it makes sense to leave it open for two weeks. Um, we've been a little slow in getting started and getting some of the recordings up. And so I think it's fair if we go ahead and leave it open a little longer. So it will close on Sunday. Two, and that will be uh, Sunday, February 19th, 2023. And it'll close, and this is a hard close. You won't be able to take it any later than the 19th, February 19th, and it'll close at 11.59 p.m. That's at night, okay? And that's just before... 12 midnight, right? Okay. So it will stay open for that two week period. And I think it's fair for me to give you the two weeks uh, just because we've been a little slow in getting some of the information up. I realize that. And so give you time to, you know, we have most of it up now. There's a couple of things that I'll talk to you about that I still want to put up there for you, but um, it'll remain open for that two week period. It will cover chapters one through six. Okay, it'll cover chapters one through six. It'll consist of 20 multiple choice questions. The multiple choice questions will be um, A, B, C, D, sometimes E, mostly A, B, C, D. 20 multiple choice questions. Those multiple choice questions will be worth um, four points each for a total of 80 points. The remaining 20 points for the 100 points that I'm giving you, um, making available for you on this exam, for the remaining 20 points, there will be a matching question. And I'm going to show you, and I'm going to have a separate video going through the practice midterm, um, but the remaining 20 points will come from that matching type question. Okay, so these and exam opens 12 a.m. on the 6th. It'll remain open for two weeks. Once you start the exam, you will have three hours to complete it. Three hours to complete it. Now, it is important that you realize that once you start the exam, the three-hour clock start, starts running and you can't stop the clock. It'll run on you for three hours, even if you didn't do a single stitch of work during that three hours. So once you start it, you have to be prepared to go through uh, the material uh, for the exam. Okay, now where will the exam be? As I've said, it'll be in Canvas. Okay, you can see our class here in Canvas, and you can see the um, link here for quizzes. It'll be in there. Okay, now right now you don't see anything because I haven't made the quiz available yet. Okay, but once the sixth comes, you will be able to come in here and click and begin to take the test. You can choose any three hour window um, within that two week period that I just specified a minute ago, okay? So you can take the exam anytime within that window. 
However, I strongly recommend that you not wait till the last minute on the 19th. That would not be a sufficient reason for saying, well, I didn't have time to complete it or something. So I would schedule it, you know, if you're going to get into that second week sometime, maybe that Friday, Saturday, uh, if you want to extend the time out, you know, as much as you can. But I would not wait until Sunday at the last minute to do that exam. Okay. All right, that is how the exam is going to work. You'll come into Canvas and take it by clicking on that quiz uh, link right there, okay? Now, uh, in terms of how to prep for the exam, okay, it is my advice that you uh, watch the lectures, and uh, there are a couple of things that I owe you. I still owe you the materiality discussion from chapter three. I'm going to be posting that up. And there's a small section of chapter four that did not uh, completely load up correctly that I'm gonna have to go ahead and reload. So it's a few minutes at the end of the chapter four lecture that I need to post up. Uh, chapters five and six are, um, are loaded as is chapter one and two, which you've probably seen those already. Okay, so watch the lectures, go through the slides within each lecture. I go through some example questions. Those will be very, very, very similar to what you see on the exam, at least term in terms of the multiple choice. Okay, so watch those lectures, see how we used our understanding of the material to answer questions that are embedded in the slides and I discussed during the lecture. And then uh, the other thing that I still plan to put up is um, the in McGraw Hill Connect. There are uh, practice midterms in there, and you can start to look at those now. Uh, and um, but I am also going to go through uh, several of the questions in this practice midterm and um, go ahead and and uh, walk you through that. Not here in this video, but I'll post up another video, but I want to go ahead and open that. It looks like some of you have already started that, so that's good, okay? But, and there's 29 questions because I wanted to give you some extra batting practice, okay, uh, with some of these, but as you go through, and the key thing I wanted to show you here is a bunch of multiple choice questions, but I think towards the end, yeah, I have sort of this matching question, okay? So it's going to be something like this will be that 20 point matching question. In this particular example, what there were 10 different things you could have looked at, probably on your exam, I'll give you five different things and you'll probably get four points for each one of those, which will be for a total of 20 points, but you'll have to do matching something like this. And when I post the lecture going through this, you'll get a better sense of um, you know, how to be successful on the exam when you click on quiz and go into the quiz and do that work, okay? So that's the game plan. We're going to chap cover chapters. Let me go back to the syllabus. It's going to cover chapters uh, one through six. It will open on the sixth as planned, but I'm going to leave it open another week, okay, to give you more time uh, just because I understand that uh, we've been posting things as we go here. And, um, you know, probably you need a little more time uh, to prep for that. So I'm going to give you that time, okay? All right, that is the game plan. Uh, I will be posting up that other lecture dealing with um, the practice midterm and also uh, those little nits of the end of chapter four that I have to post up. And then uh, I'm gonna record a materiality discussion for you uh, for the conclusion of chapter three. Okay, guys, uh, keep up the good work and we'll talk to you soon, okay?